Hi, I'm Amy Acker, and I play Root. Hi, I'm Greg Plegeman, and I play a writer. So what part does Comic-Con play in keeping shows like yours alive? Oh, I, I mean, I think it's been really great to be at Comic-Con because a lot of people sort of thought of our show as this procedural show, and then as it's progressed, they've really seen all the mythology and, and that this is the perfect place for a person of interest. And it's been really fun to be here and, and to have people come up and be like, I didn't know this show was so awesome. And it, it's just great to interact with the fans and to get people excited about all the cool stuff they're, they're writing for us in California and all the great stuff coming up. Yeah, I think from the very beginning, Joan and I have felt like this is an audience we wanted to reach. We felt really strongly that we had to reach. Um, you know, being on CBS confers you a certain large audience that, you know, everybody's mother tells me is their favorite show, but uh, there's a genre audience uh, that we really feel like we need we need to reach. And uh, I've read a number of reviews um, from various outlets, particularly here, the number that come to Comic-Con saying, this is not the show you think it is, which is kind of cool and kind of frustrating at the same time. Um, I think uh, because there isn't a, a real streaming option yet, I think if we had that, a lot of people could catch up to the show and understand what we're cooking up here. Because I, I think we had a great run last year. We kind of hit, hit our apex. And uh, this is an audience that really cares about the larger story. Like, where are you taking me? Where's it going? I think we're also entering an era of television where people don't even watch a show until it's been, it's been on for a while and someone tells them, no, 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 this show's amazing. You got to catch up on it. And I think that happened with shows like Breaking Bad and... You know, I, I hear great things about the Americans. That's a show I want to catch up on, uh, and, and this is that that audience. We we want to reach that audience and say, you know, this isn't just your mother-in-law's favorite procedural. And your show is actually considered one of the most successful drama shows in the last 15 years. Where where do you think that success comes from? Is it from the acting, the execution? Is it just the time that it just works? What do you think? I didn't know that. <laughs> That's cool. Um, Probably mostly from the writing, and they, they, they really do write incredible things, and they have such a great group of people that, I, I mean, every time all the actors are talking about the scripts, we, we feel like they just are so much smarter than us, <laughs> we're trying to figure out, you know, they, they've, inter they've got pieces from season one showing up now that I, I, I'm always like, did they plan that? How did they do it? But... But yeah, everybody, I mean everyone, the crew, uh, it's just a great group of people who love what they're working on and, and want it to be good and I think that that is, is not always the case and it, and it helps it to be that way. I mean, let's be honest, we have an amazing cast. We really do. I mean, we're lucky. The, every one of these guys are fantastic at what they do, but they're clearly delineated and they all have their quirks and their gray areas. and. Some of them are killers and some of them aren't, which is kind of fun. So th that feels fresh. And then they, we, we always maintain the opportunity to go 180 degrees the other way or kill someone off, <laughs> which we tend to do with probably too much regularity. Um, I, I think for me, the thing that made the show really unique for me when even Jonah uh, pitched me the initial idea was that it was about something. It was about in the impending surveillance state. And now we're sort of moving into a new area about artificial intelligence uh, that we think is equally important. And so it's like, I think in, in some ways the show is a bit subversive, but it's a little bit ahead of its time. And I think a lot of people are going to rewind and go, wait a minute, they were talking about this. And Joe and I wound up giving interviews at CNN or going to the Smithsonian, like, how did you guys know about the surveillance? I thought everybody knew uh, about the NSA. Um, <laughs> And that makes it, it makes it the show prescient, but it also makes it current. It makes it about something, and I think that's cool, and it's a cool vehicle to tell stories.